Owls have an extraordinary skill. They can fly without making any noise at all. Not a wing beat, not a rustling feather. Owls have mastered the art of silent flight. But how do they do it? What exactly makes them capable of this silent mode? We have tested it with human ears and in the lab. In this video, you'll find out why owls are the bird kingdom's most silent hunters. Owls are pretty famous birds, probably best known for their 270 degree head turning, but also for their appearance in spooky forests or graveyards at night, where they go unnoticed until there's a sudden but how is it possible that no one ever notices an owl's arrival? Well, that's due to a unique trait, the owl's silent and almost unnoticeable flight. And because our channel is not an owl, we want it to be more noticeable on YouTube. So please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps. Let's take a look at how stealthy owls really are. Meet Lloyd Buck, a bird handler, and his trained barn owl, Kenza. Together with Rose, Lloyd's wife, they will demonstrate the art of silence in action. Kenza has been trained with a beeper. When she hears a beep, she can accurately locate where the signal is coming from and will land on top of it. Lloyd will be the guinea pig today. His task? Lying in the grass and listening carefully for any hint of approaching wings. To do this, he hides the beeper in the grass and lies right next to it on the ground with his eyes closed, of course. This test is for his ears only. Rose operates the beeper. Once it starts, Kenza the barn owl flies towards it. With graceful movements, Kenza glides through the air without a whisper. To Lloyd's ears, she remains undetectable. Lloyd didn't notice Kenza. Not until her little feet touch down in the grass. Nothing at all? No, not a thing. <laughs> you clever girl. But as this was a literal field test, Maybe other noises distracted Lloyd's ears. So we moved to a more professional setting. This barn owl, let's call him Barney, is in a lab. A soundproof lab designed to dampen any sound. Perfect for measuring all kinds of noise, especially when the sound producer is also completely silent. But there's a problem. Barney won't fly. Most owls, especially barn owls, rely heavily on their hearing for orientation. So, in a lab devoid of all sound except his own, he won't take flight. To simulate flying, his trainer rocks him a bit so that Barney has to flap his wings to stay balanced. And the only thing recorded is the sound of silence. But why is there practically no sound? To find an answer, we compared an owl to a pigeon during flight. These two are close in body size, so it's a good comparison. However, there are differences. Firstly, an owl's wings are curved and much larger compared to their body size than those of a pigeon. This makes owls fly slower, but they also have to flap their wings less often. In flight, air flows over and under the wing at different speeds, resulting in a difference in air pressure that keeps birds and other flying things in the air. But flapping wings also moves air and creates noise. When the pigeon takes flight, it flaps a lot, moving the air and creating turbulence. This can be seen as its feathers swirl through the air. By contrast, when the owl flies, its feathers stay almost in place. Flapping their wings is how birds move. The motion mixes the different air flows and causes turbulence, which pushes them forward. But as mentioned before, moving air creates noise, aerodynamic noise. So an owl flapping its wings less often means it is also more silent. But that is not the only explanation. Their feathers are also unique. Owls have special adaptations, from vein fringes to velvet on top of their wings, which reduce turbulence and minimize friction between the individual feathers. Less friction means less structural noise, which in turn lets the owl move as silently as a ghost. Other birds, which don't have this velvet or vein fringes, are louder while flying. Scientists have recorded broadband noises and even ultrasound coming from birds like pigeons or falcons in flight. But owls, except fishing owls, produced no ultrasound. Interestingly, owls are not the only birds to have evolved velvet on their feathers. 
Harriers and white-tailed kites also have it, as well as some birds in the Caprimulgi formis family, like this frogmouth. But scientists are still investigating whether they are also capable of silent flight. This is the science behind the silence. But why did silent flight evolve in owls? The answer may lie in their hunting strategy. There are two hypotheses that try to explain why the owl is capable of silent flight. The self-masking or owl ear hypothesis and the stealth or mouse ear hypothesis. As they are not mutually exclusive, in some owl species both make sense. To understand self-masking, let's talk about owls hearing first. Remember this part? Most owls rely heavily on their hearing for orientation. Most owls, especially ones that hunt at night, have amazing hearing. Their faces are shaped like a satellite dish to guide the sounds to their ears, ears that are asymmetrical in a lot of species. Apparently, this trait evolved five times in owls, every one of them a bit different. The asymmetry helps owls to navigate in three-dimensional space, as they can tell if the sound is coming from above or below. Their hearing is so good that owls like the great grey owl can hear their prey through a thick layer of snow. But to come back to self-masking, good hearing could be a problem if your wings are too loud. The idea with this hypothesis is that silent flight evolved in owls because they relied so much on hearing their prey to hunt. So, if their wings and feathers were making too much noise right next to their ears, this rustling would hide a lot of other noises, like the sound of a rodent crawling beneath the snow or in the underbush. Interestingly, owls that hunt more during the daytime and rely more on sight than hearing, like these burrowing owls, lack prominent facial discs and are also louder than their night-loving cousins. The stealth hypothesis is similar, but looks at it from another perspective. Hearing also plays the central role here, but for the prey, not the hunter. Owls that hunt prey with pretty good hearing, like mice or voles, were and still are under evolutionary pressure to evolve silent flight, so that said prey doesn't notice their approach. This would also suggest that owls which predominantly hunt prey that doesn't rely on sound show fewer signs of evolutionary adaption for silent flight. And that does seem to be the case. Owls that feed on fish for the main part of their diet have fewer dominant silent flight features or lack them altogether. These hypotheses suggest that silent flight might not have evolved to silence aerodynamic noise, like turbulence, but rather to reduce the structural noise of feathers. Why is that? Because if silent flight evolved to ensure more successful hunting, it wouldn't need to silence sound that occurs at the back of the wing. Simply speaking, in most cases the owl's prey is in front of and underneath it. The sound created by turbulence would be behind both the owl and its prey, so it wouldn't cause the owl to self-mask or alert an unaware rodent to its presence. The reduction of aerodynamic noise may be just a byproduct. The paper from which most of this information originates concludes with an interesting idea. Maybe owls are not really silent, but other birds are just loud because using a lot of individual structures to move around will be noisy. Perhaps the bat, rather than the owl, is the best animal to study when it comes to silent flight. Friends, this is the end. Leave an owl in the comments if you made it this far, and here are more videos to check out.